Okay, we have been promoted to League One. Now, it was a very long season in League Two, but we won League Two promotion playoffs. And now we find ourselves in a much tougher league, a league that I'm not sure this team is ready for. We're going to find out, though. We got a new season. We got new kits. We got new player upgrades and a brand new challenge in League One. So once again, for more daily episodes, drop a like down below and let's get into this. Okay, first comment, put a development plan on Leo. He's been playing well. Yeah, little Leo, Leo Harrison. So he is now 15 years old and he's also gone from being 5'4 to 5'7 in terms of height so a tiny bit of a growth spurt for little leo we do have him on a development plan now and it's gonna be a very big season for leo which we'll touch upon why later on next one i think you should actually get matthew to join kensington since he would destroy everyone yeah the absolute dream would be to sign matthew rose to this team to play for his father but he's got a 744 million pound release clause yeah as of right now i don't think we can afford that but it still remains the dream for later on in this series and last one you should upgrade frost passing and strength at the start of the season yeah we did talk about giving like certain players upgrades or downgrades i think we're gonna hold off from that though I kind of want all my players to like develop naturally. I don't want to give anyone like too big of a boost and then it's, it just doesn't make sense, you know? But because he's deserved it, we have given Sean Frost the power header trait because that man scored a lot of headers last season. So I think he's earned it. And we're going to need more of that this season. Okay. In terms of our early roster moves, as we know, Gunnarsson has gone back to Cardiff City. So he's no longer at the club. We're going to miss him a lot. And also, Aining has gone back to Borussia Dortmund. Other than that, the team is relatively the same pretty much. And I feel like the starting 11 isn't going to change much before the season starts because this team got us promotion. I think a lot of these players deserve to stay in the starting 11. I think we need to replace Gunnarsson, so we need to buy a center back. That's probably our first priority. But I like the starting 11. I like the bench. We got some good players here, some good depth. The English, Little Messi, Nicholas Joyce, and now a striker too, by the way. So we are fully embracing that uh, false nine center forward role for him. And he is the backup to Frost for now. And we have no backup for Kelman, but I feel like Okezi, he can play left back. He's a plus one, a left back, and a plus one, a right back. He's got the stats to be a fullback, plus that four star weak foot. So I think Okezi might play as like a backup left back at times. So really, right now, what I see is we need a center back. I don't think we'll survive in this league without a a solid center back to replace Gunnarsson. But first, let's find out how much money we have to spend in season two. So today we're meeting with our head scout, Michael Green. He scouts youth players, real players playing right now. He does everything for us in terms of scouting. Now, Michael says that they've just received our budget, our transfer budget for season two. And we ask him, all right, how much is it going to be? And he says, after Ronaldo came on as an investor, a few other minor investors joined. So this season, we're going to have a 13 million pound budget. And we're like, okay, that's like 10 million more than last year. But Michael says, remember, we have to be able to send out our youth scouts so we can spend all of that as just transfer budget. We gotta be smart. All right, so 13 million is our budget. Now, I don't think we're gonna spend all that. We wanna save some for January. You wanna save some, of course, send youth scouts out. But that 13 million can definitely improve this team. And I'm looking at that center back spot. Now, the issue though is all these players on our short list, they will not come to the club. We're in league one. We're like two leagues below the top league. So a lot of these players just don't wanna join us. And the ones that do, I'm not sure they make that much of a difference for, uh, for a center back spot. Like, as you can see, a lot of these players just don't wanna join us. So it's gonna limit our transfer ability a lot. But we may have found a player that wants to join us and this could work. His name is Cyrus Christie from Hull City. Now, Hull City, I'm pretty sure they're still in the championship, so only one league above us, which means Christie might actually entertain joining us. Now, he's a 7 overall, 30-year-old right back from Northern Ireland, but he's 6'2", and his physical stats look so good, like decent jumping, good strength. He's pretty quick, and he's also very good on the ball, which Gabriel Ferreira, our other starting center back, is not good at. So he could almost, like, counterbalance that. And 30 years old, I mean, he's not too old. It's not like he's gonna be dropping anytime soon. We would definitely convert him to a center back 1,000%. So this signing could really be a huge signing for us to start this new season. We're going to try and make it happen. We see his value at 1.4 million. So first we negotiate with the uh, whole city, which I mean, we got 13 million. 1.4 is really nothing, but let's try to get a good deal here. Let's try 1 million for a 71 overall right back, center back. I feel like 1 million, that's understandable. And they accept that. Okay, I probably could have got less, but we're a little bit inexperienced here. It's only our second year as manager. You know, 1 million, I'll take that still. All right, now it's time to sit down with Mr. Cyrus and try to convince him to join Kensington. So we tell Cyrus, we're very excited about the prospect of signing you. And he said he's heard a lot of good things about this club, so he's excited to be here. Now we tell him we just lost our one of our starting center backs. We want you to be his replacement. So we tell him you would be a starter day in and day out in a leader in our defensive line. And Cyrus says, where do you think you'll finish this season? Is this team going to be fighting for promotion? And we tell him, hey, honestly, we're a newly promoted club, so it's hard to say for sure. But our goal this season is to get promotion to the championship. That's what we're fighting for. And Cyrus says he likes everything he's hearing. He likes being in London. So he says that he is ready to sign the contract and sign for Kensington. So just like that, Cyrus Christie is signed up. This is a very big signing, I think. Uh, our highest rated player now. And also our new starting center back, he's been 
meeting for now rodriguez the team here going through a little physical and there it is christy officially signed up this is a big way to start season two in our time in league one and look at that ea sports ranks that transfer an a hopefully it turns out to be an a transfer christy welcome to the club now i'm not sure if i want to be number six maybe number two might be a little way for a center back but i want to give christy number two and also we need to make him a center back so that's gonna take should take only two weeks also we're gonna make mensa a right winger so he's gonna be kamalo's backup of course stays at the same overall and then rodrigo ramos now we found him in the wolf series and he's basically the Zhao Cancelo, the new Zhao Cancelo. So very fittingly, we're going to make him permanently a right back because despite being left footed, he was so good at right back last year. And also Christy is now officially a center back. So this team is getting close and ready for the start of the season, which we're going to be seeing a lot more of Leo Harrison because the man has dropped out of school. Okay, not dropped out. He's like being homeschooled. You know what I mean? He is now here a hundred percent of the time, like a full-time professional footballer. And I feel like this could be a breakout year for Leo. All right. So only change to the 11 and compared to last year is Christy now in for Gunnarsson. And then that is how the bench looks to start this season. We got Okezi, we got Kundal Harrison, and then three really good attackers off the bench in Santos, Mensa, and Joyce. Like, we got some goals on the bench. We got players in the field who can score goals. My worry remains the defense, which I'm hoping Christy can help, but only time will tell. And that time is actually right now because we're facing Cheltenham in the first game of League One. So, League One, these are the teams in our league. I'm not sure which team is best in this league, to be honest. We are going to find out and probably find out the hard way. Uh, by the way, I do get questions about our difficulty we play on a lot. So, once again, ultimate difficulty, player base difficulty on, and then here are the CPU sliders user sliders are not changed so it's those plus first such error for the cpu is on 10. now i have a sly feeling we we're gonna get like absolutely demolished in this league to start i feel like this team is not good enough in terms of rating for league one but like i said we're gonna find out so dressing room before the first game now we tell the boys the teams we're about to face they're gonna want to give us a rude welcome to league one they're gonna want to make us think we don't deserve to be here so we say don't let that happen show them we belong in this league so it's town playing a 5-3-2 even so it's farther back with a cdm that looks extremely extremely defensive so can our attack break down that formation and also of course uh, new kits for season two. So you've seen the home kit. We're now sponsored by Puma for all three kits. I mean, the white stripes and the shoulders, it looks clean. It's our standard red home kit. And then this is our new away kit. It's like a white kind of navy blue and red combo. It's more like a shade of like a very dark and black blue. I don't even know. Wait, yeah, we got the stripes in the front. We got stripes in the socks. I would say it's clean. And then our third kit, we've gone to something very, very bright. Last year, our third kit was all black. So this year, it's like a neon green blue. It's got the little design on the shirt, you know, a little texture design. We are currently in negotiations with a few sponsors to be our front shirt sponsor so if we get a deal done we'll add it later on but first game gotta go with the home kit officially we arrive in league one and also we're back at the king's garden so our new stadium is being developed right now there's a chance we could play at it towards the end of this season but probably the start of season three i think so we're not going to be here that much longer but still this is the king's garden first game in league one let's uh, try and get a win although i feel like these teams are going to be a whole different level than what we're used to also cyrus christie debut so sean frost starts the season Promotion winners, now a League One football team. And I want a good start, Parsons. Get it to Sean Frost. Frost turns. It's a decent little turn, but he can't get the shot away, though. Bro, 5-3-2 is so defensive. I feel like they're going to be hard to break down. Also, Cyrus Christie, first touch. Welcome to the club officially. And Rodrigo Ramos up to Quetzal Kamalo. Kamalo's got Rodriguez. That was not a great cross, though. It was actually a foul. So, okay, Quetzal Kamalo, what kind of delivery you got? We are going to try and send that one. Kind of far post, but okay, Raquel, mate. That's a great header attempt. Ozebed and Sean Frost. Name a better duo from corners. They almost scored that. That's going to be headed by Christie right to a uh, Sheldon player, though. That's unfortunate. Rodriguez, great ball to Parsons. Parsons, wait. They're laying off him. Parsons has got some shooting ability, but right there, didn't quite show it. Okay, wait, that's a free kick. That was handball. Rodriguez, chance to score from a free kick. Now, he's not done it yet, but this might be his best chance. Better now, Rodriguez, the next Ronaldo from the free kick spot. And that is how we start season two. Right now, Rodriguez from the free kick spot puts us up 1-0. Okay, Kensington, welcome to League One. Man, the next CR7, that is a pretty solid free kick from a very close range. Sometimes those are harder, but not hard enough for Fernando Rodriguez. That is a great way to start this season. All right, 14 minutes. That is, uh, that's 1-0. Okay, ball in the box. This looks dangerous. Cyrus Christie's first chance to defend. But okay, that guy just got so much space. Once again, Josebed and Parsons. This is a reoccurring issue. No one marks people in the top of the box like that second runner. Because Josebed is standing there. Look at him. Josebed standing there. Just runs right behind him. Same issues as season one, and this game is 1-1. I mean, early season rust. We can try and uh, correct the errors. Maybe it's uh, to be expected. It is just a bit worrying, though. All right, Christy, Christy. That is a great tackle. Man, it's quick for a center back in this league. Now, Sean Frost to Rodriguez. Rodriguez tries to head that to uh, Parsons. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried here. I'm getting a little worried. Ferreira, good tackle, though. Corner is sent in. That is cleared by Rodriguez. Our biggest issue is this spot. 
that spot right there i don't think that was bad defending that was just a better shot we had a great start but now we're getting the welcome to league one a rude welcome like the cheltenham town captain charlie raglan is that his name he just pulled this one off the back outside the box couldn't get a block in. It's over Montoya's head. Okay, not a good little uh, sequence. 1-0 up to 2-1 down within what? Maybe 15 minutes. Okay, we need a response now. Parsons gets it back to Paris. Kamalo up to Sean Frost. Can't get the shot away, though. He was so close to. Okay, so Kamalo can't find Frost on that through ball. Yeah, that 5-3-2. Now they're a goal up. It's going to be even harder to break down. Christy. That is what I need to see from you, though. On Frost, through to Ketso Kamalo, who is on side. Kamalo is going to try and stop. Play it to Samuel Paris. Good move, but it's going to be a good save. Oh, Rodriguez steals it. In to Sean Frost. That first one's blocked. Frost gets it over to Kamalo. Kamalo. Oh, okay. I try to get it back to Frost. That was not the right move. All right, at least a better sequence, though. Parsons gets it to Sean Frost. Oh, that side foot sweeping shot. That was so bad. Frost, great ball to Kamalo. Kamalo, I don't like any of those crossing options. Get it to Ramos. Ramos. Gets over to Kamalo. In to Paris. Someone finds some room to shoot. This is the 5-3-2 at work. There's just so many players in the box. All right, maybe last chance of the first half goes to them because no one wants to mark in the box. Montoya, thankfully, is ready for it. All right, 2-1 down. Welcome to League One to Kensington. See if the boys can muster up a response to that. Oh, man, that ball gets through. Christy, Christy, great defending. Despite the defensive issues, Christy's had a solid debut so far. Calme, great tackle. Come on, boys. We're going to tie this team up right now. Don't wait to tie it up. Rodriguez gives it to Paris. Paris holds it up. In to Fernando Rodriguez. Rodriguez, we got Tommy Parsons. Ball almost gets to him. Tommy almost steals it, too. Oh, man, Christy, another good tackle. Now, instead, they get through there, and they are going to score. And that was Christy's side. He just lost track of him, but we are 3-1 down to Cheltenham Town. Hey, that rhymed. I feel like this guy got in a run, and just everyone caught just flat-footed. Okay, Josebed, honestly, has had a stinker in the midfield, so Okezi on for uh, Josebed. And then if we don't score a goal quick, I'm making more changes, but that's the first change for now. We still have time to get back in this to at least get a point. Ramos over to Parsons. Parsons to Paris. Paris gets it over to Sean Frost. And he hits the crossbar. I can't believe it. Man, they're just working through us way too easy right now. Christy, though, at least saves maybe a fourth goal. Bro, they just have so many numbers back. This is so incredibly hard to break down. Raquel May, get to the byline. Try and flip it up to Kamalo. I need Frost and uh, Rodriguez to get in the box there. Raquel May to Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Oh, man, I wanted that to go to Paris, not Frost. Raquel May. Oh, Raquel May. That is a very good tackle, though. If we don't score now, this game might be done. Paris, we flip it up to Frost. Yes, we can. Frost, volley attempt. Sean Frost, what a little finish. This game is 2-3. We got like 15 minutes now to tie this up. All right, Sam Paris, that is a great little uh, crossover. But Frost, he has a lot to do there. That's a very nifty finish. Okay, I'm going to do Mensa for Kamalo. And then Luke Kundal for Parsons. We're going to do that. So we got, what, actually 17 minutes. We could do something here. Frost makes a very good steal. Now, problem is, that's a good ball. Now, Ferreira, Ferreira, great tackle to stop that attack. Now, Raquel May has got a little bit of space, but no support. Raquel May. We're going to try and cross that up to Frost. Frost. Oh, man. He didn't even look at it. Kundal goes around one. Beautifully done. Samuel Paris. But that shot in Samuel Paris has tied this game up. Okay. Sam Paris. What a shot. I did not think this was going in. But Paris gets it. No one steps up. Time to shoot. He shoots. It's not even the corner. It's just over the keeper. It's kind of like their, uh, their second goal, right? Okay, though. 3-3. Three, three. We have a chance to now win this game or lose it, too. Oh, no. Raquel May is a little bit tired. Probably need more subs on, but he still makes a good tackle. Okay. He's actually not that tired, so I'm keeping the same players in the field. They've got us back in this game. Hopefully, don't lose it. Oh, no. That's a back heel. Oh, that pass was just so soft. I couldn't even do anything about it. It was such a light little touch that I had no chance of stopping that. We fight all the way back from 3-1 to 3-3, and now it's 4-3. Probably going to stop this at some point like right there but oh that pass it just we were like done by the time the guy who scored got the ball we were done all right four minutes now to tie this up again I and mean, there's a chance but we've got to go fast Raquel May please win that Raquel May you need to win that Raquel May does win it but doesn't win it to a teammate Herrera wins it. okay we have a slight chance here we get this ball forward three added minutes is enough time John Frost through to Rodriguez Rodriguez we have Paris, but Rodriguez doesn't even play it to him. I should have waited. Oh, we rushed that because we felt we didn't have time. Man, our first game of League 1 is going to be a 4-3 loss. This game was winnable. We fought back so much. We deserved a point at least. But in football, you don't always get what you deserve. So we are not going to get a point. We get nothing on opening day, and it's going to be a loss. Okay, relax, Cheltenham Town. That is a heartbreaking start, though. We deserve a point in this game. We played good enough. We fought back, but it's a loss in the first opening day of League One. So after one game, we sit right smack mid-table in 15. Man, that was a heartbreaking way to start the season, but next game is going to be Sunderland, a team that has been like 
cursed stuck in league one for a while and also i think a youth player is finally ready for his uh for his promotion and that is ahmed the algerian center back right back and cdm now to me he kind of looks like timber from ajax by the way 81 87 potential so could be pretty good and we've got one star weak foot i kind of want to train that up if we can but he'll probably get his debut in the episode i think against sunderland i want to put paris on the right and then leo harrison gets the start down the middle the child prodigy and also i think in this game uh okezi starts over hosebed i just need that much more of a stronger defensive presence in the midfield i think but we go with that two changes at home again this time facing sunderland all right first game proved that we can score goals in this league of course we can but can we defend well enough to pick up points that's gonna be our issue all right immediately uh frost steals that and leo 15 years old a little bit taller makes that tackle or i should say wins that ball back now paris played it off that guy's arm so it's gonna be an early free kick chance rodriguez we are gonna try to ding this one in okay i should have put more on that but that falls in front of goal and then who is that's frost that is the most fortunate bounce i've ever seen in my life but it's one nil to kensington i'm not even sure what happened there both those guys just fell down and the ball just like came out it's the worst freaking of all time they both fall on each other and then frost just picks up the loose ball i can't believe that but that is how this game starts all right can we get a bounce back win on day two of league one okay sunderland are pressuring a lot ferreira good block christy gets it out yo he's now 5'7 he can win some headers he's no longer 5'4 all right harrison harrison Decent turn, but okay, that actually almost worked. All right, Sunderland are playing much different than Cheltenham. They are pressuring a lot, which I think kind of kind of serves us better because we got a good counter attack. As long as they don't score, which Christie goes over. Oh man, that passing is so good. Montoya makes the save though. Cross in, that is cleared by Sam Paris. Now right back in the box, Christie. He has got a large role in this team of solving our defensive issues, which is going to be not easy. Because looking at this, they're just in our box chilling. They are just in our box, just like having a picnic. We just can't defend like the second man. Like the guy that scores, he's just wide open. Okezi is standing there. We just can't like pick up the threat in the box. Just like last game, this game is now 1-1 after a great start. All right, Leo to Ramos. Once again, we got to find, find a response here. All right, Paris driving forward. Paris should be through to Sean Frost, which it is. Sean Frost goes for a shot. And... I do not know what that was. Oh, Paris, great steal. Frost, chance to redeem yourself. He's going to try to pass it off to someone, but could not do anything with that cross. All right, Paris into Leo. Leo, can we dink it up to actually Paris instead? Paris fights for it, fights for it. Can't quite collect it though. Boys, we need to score this second before they do because I feel like they're going to score their second. Rodriguez holds up that defender into Raquel May. Raquel May into Frost. Man, that pass was not quite good enough but it's salvaged and parsons plays a bad ball to okezi oh ferreira trying to make that run and oh we took him out i was i thought he was gonna shoot right away they always shoot this guy decides to hold the ball and i go for a tackle and i give up a penalty oh ferreira that's a red card okay this is this is not a good start of the season it's not a good start i mean it is a red it's a denial of a clear goal scoring chance i guess oh man a red card and they have a penalty what has this game turned into all right okezi two center back and then i'm gonna put leo in this spot so we basically don't play without a cam oh man this is so unfortunate montoya can we make a save he's gonna go right he goes down the middle and it's 2-1 and we are now down to 10 men what a start to this season all right parsons a good steal come on have a response down to 10 men it doesn't even okay it does matter i was gonna say it doesn't matter as leo gets the ball stolen it does matter oh man we are just struggling now giving up fouls left to right 41st minute free kick is he gonna put this in Hits the crossbar and Okezi somehow oh, it's gonna be another penalty i was just trying to clear the ball it was right in front of him Okezi at least stays on the field i was just trying to clear it oh we just took him out with his arm this is a nightmare two penalties in the first half we're gonna go left montoya saves it a hey, something to celebrate this has been so bad though going to halftime 2-1 we can regroup and then take it from there. All right, that attack is finally over. Parsons, good ball to Ramos. Ramos, get to Frost. Ball to Frost. Frost can't hold it up good enough, but chance is not done yet. Parsons, Paris. Oh, man, there's so many people marking. Paris over to Rodrigo Ramos. Rodrigo Ramos, cross in. Rodriguez, can he fight for that? He almost looked like he was going to, but halftime, down 2-1, and we're down to 10 men. If we get a point here, anything here is going to be a miracle. All right, regrouped a little bit uh, more organized in the second half, I'm hoping, and we'll see if we can get anything done against this team. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I seeing? What am I seeing right now? What a block. This should be 3-1. I can't believe we just blocked that. Great start in the second half, huh? Rodriguez over to Raquel May. Now Raquel May. We got Frost, but he's offside. Now he's onside. Raquel May cross to Frost. Try to get to that. He was like an inch away from that, I think. Raquel May win that. Raquel May wins that. Come on. Team is showing some energy at least. One thing about this team, we never, ever, ever give up. That is in the box, though. They're looking for this. They go over. Okay, Okezi blocked that, I think. And once again, for now, we stay alive. Harrison to Rodriguez. Rodriguez does have the pace. Now, does he have a cross to... 
cross. No, he doesn't. He has a shot, though. Rodriguez shoots. This game is 2-2. Somehow down to 10 men, and Rodriguez just does that. Just a complete solo goal. Frost at least, at least drags that defender a little bit wide, so it gives Rodriguez the time to shoot in the room. And Rodriguez, this is kind of his spot a little bit. He always he always scores these tight angle shots. All right, down to 10 men. Is there actually a chance we can get a point here or even win this game? I am seeing some belief in this team right now. Frost, great dribbling, great ball to Raquel May. Raquel May, oh man, can't get around one. He's a little bit tired, I think, again. Don't let them score this third. That would be a disaster, which they might, they might. Mon Montoya saves it and Ramos will collect it. Oh no, they're coming right back. They are right back in our box. That's going to be a shot. We are just not quick enough to defend like the second man always. It's 3-2. It is infuriating what we've done to ourselves in this game. Just though Kezi stepped up a little bit there and it gave this guy the room to shoot. But we just always leave our center backs like alone to do all the work. I feel like all of our goals, really the midfield should take the blame. Okay, Raquel May is taking out from behind. That's going to be only uh, only a talking to. All right, once again, we keep fighting. Rodriguez, we have a cross maybe? Let's stop. Get it to Frost. No, it's not bad. Frost. We got Leo. We got it to Leo. Leo. Oh, we try to keep it. I try to get it over to Paris. Parsons to Leo Harrison. Harrison left footed shot. That's going to be a corner at least. All right, Rodriguez. Corner sent in. Not bad. Delivery. John Frost. It's going to be saved. Second time around. That looks great. That looks so good. The keeper decides to save it again. Come on. Third time is the charm. That's another great corner. But that one was tougher for Frost. All right, I'm going to do Santos, right wing, and then Nicholas Joyce on for Rodriguez. We're going to do that. And also, Josebed for Parsons. Let's also do that. So, fresh legs out wide. Down to 10 men. We just need people who have stamina right now. Oh, man. They are looking to kill this game off. But Josebed, good tackle. I like to see that. Now, Frost, we find Santos. Oh, man. We were so close to putting Santos in. Leo. Oh, little Leo Harrison making a great tackle. Nicholas Joyce, first playing time of the season in Frost tries to get it to him once again it's so close to getting through ball down the middle goes over okezi tries to block that but that's just a great shot all right second game is gonna be probably another loss unless we somehow come back which if we do it will be the greatest comeback of all time we have three minutes nope i don't think we are this game is gonna be another very disappointing loss we shot ourselves in the foot in this game that's what happened if we didn't get a red card didn't give up that first penalty we might have actually stayed in the game that's a ball down the middle shot montoya at least saves that one that is going to be it for our second ever game man we were in this game at least the team is showing some spirit and like some fighting back ability but yeah we might be one of the worst teams in this league that's to be expected it has not been the best of starts so two games we are now one place off the relegation zone this feels a lot like last season the start so uh, newly promoted bradford city are in second place but lincoln exeter and coventry sit at the top those might be the best teams in this league now in terms of like signings to help us i'm not sure it's signings i feel like we have a good team or maybe not good but i like the team there's no one here that i want to replace where if we make a new signing we kind of have to do that maybe a back up left back to back up or kill me in the reserves i do not know let me know in the comments how you think we should help this team this season because yeah we do have like 11 million left so we could do some damage but i don't want to take away playing time from any of the players in the team though so it's gonna have to be someone really special to entice us now our next game might be one of the toughest tests for us so far in this series we're facing a premier league quality team in afc bournemouth in round one of the carabao cup so yeah this is probably the best team we faced so far in the series and after two losses at the start of the season this could be an absolute disaster this could be even worse than the first two games now i'm trying to think like should we try different formation i just don't know what else to try like this 4 3 one got us promoted so we know it works to a certain extent it's just the defense has been so disappointing but okay ferrer is out with the red this game so i'm gonna give ahmed his debut but that's gonna be a right back over ramos so first bit of playing time for ahmed i think other than that we go with the same lineup from uh game number one now this bournemouth team is so much better than us away from home this could be very very bad like my problems with formations is that any formation we play we kind of have to play with a cam because paris has been so good there which makes it difficult to like find a more defensively sound formation that also still has a cam so i don't know but kensington bournemouth we're playing a premier league stadium pretty much this is going to be a very interesting game and i am terrified also ahmed his debut trying to mark uh this guy okay he didn't do bad there but somehow just the ball went around him and already it's the worst start imaginable three minutes in bournemouth score and it's one nil man they just play it in and like we just can't I guess I moved uh, Phillips over, and that's why I gave him that space. It's just hard to, like, defend that, man. This ain't League 2 anymore. This is not even League 1. This is Premier League. It might be a, a round one exit in the Carabao Cup. Frost is calling for it. Frost doesn't quite. That cross was not good enough. Rodriguez, if he wins that, though, we have a chance, which he does. And Frost's shot is going to be blocked. Oh, 
Oh, I just got destroyed there. We're going to try and slide, but they get it over. I just got destroyed. Within 10 minutes, we are 2-0 down against Bournemouth. I really thought he was going to go. I thought he was going to stop and go towards the left, but he did that fake. All right, 2-0 down. This could be uh, probably one of our biggest losses of the series, I think. Or one of the biggest wins because we don't back down. Paris, Paris. Flips it up to Rodrigo. Actually, Frost. I always get those two mixed up, but it goes over the net anyways. I'm getting very upset now. I need this team to get angry. Okay, Josebed. Great steal in to Sean Frost, who is onside, and he actually drags it wide. I can't believe that our captain... Oh, man, it's like not a bad shot. It's just wide. Is that a sign that today is just not our day when one of our best players has a finish like that? Rodriguez gives it to Frost. Frost actually wins that. Frost to Rodriguez. Rodriguez dink up. Man, I just don't know what to do in this box. That was a very rough tackle, actually. All right, Hosebed. Frost over to the heading merchant, and Sean Frost scores. The man is a header merchant. Okay, makes up for that last miss. Hosebed, once again, another great delivery, and Frost makes up for the miss, and this game is 2-1. Do we have a chance here at least to show some spirit? All right, Phillips out to Ahmed. Ahmed win that. Ahmed, great pass. Now, Kamalo's going to get it over to Paris. Paris chance to shoot that is so unfortunately blocked and then parsons almost actually stole that okay now kamalo great steal okay this team is showing some fight back ability frost over to Ketzel kamalo kamalo does he have the pace he does kamalo and he played over to paris great chance and that's gonna be a what is that a foul on us oh it's gonna be like handball or a foul on us man we're kind of close to tying this up as soon as i say that Christy, our new sonny comes over. Christy, okay. How am I supposed to defend that Montoya? Great save, though. Oh, man. I thought that was game over right there. Don't let them score their third. We have some good momentum. Christy collects it and gets it out. Okay, we got our three fastest players on this break. Kamalo. Oh, man. Paris, that wasn't a great ball. Rodriguez, can he fight for that? Not quite. And then Frost can't get to it either. Man, we have our three forwards up like that. That's a horrible execution on that attack. Christy, Christy, great tackle. Paris, through to Kamalo. Kamalo, good first touch. Kamalo, waiting for something. Kamalo, Kamalo. Oh, man, I saw Paris at the last second, and I tried to pass to him. I should have just shot. I thought Kamalo's shot was going to get blocked. Hey, Ahmed, Ahmed, great tackle, leading to Paris. Over to Sean. Frost and this game is 2-2. The team is showing some fight back ability. And Sean Frost is making up for his past misses now. Started with a steal from uh, Ahmed making his debut. Okay, against a Premier League quality team, we are uh, we're tied up. And that is half time. From 2-0 uh, down to now 2-2. Two -two. And Bournemouth are pressing a lot, which allows maybe some space for us. Maybe a little bit of underestimation. Malo up to Paris. Paris through to Sean Frost. Sean Frost. Tries to get on his foot. That was our only chance there. I am not taking another right-footed shot with Frost. Ball to Paris again. Paris is going to try and stop. Wait for something. Goes to Ahmed. Ahmed to Kamalo. Someone's going to find the space here. Paris. Frost gives it to Parsons. Parsons dinks it up to, or at least tries to flip up to Frost, but can't quite do it. Oh, no. Funes Mori. This guy is torching us. Montoya. Oh, no. What a save. Oh, he can't. Wait, wait, wait. What? I don't know what happened. I might have bounced off Montoya and hit, I think, uh, Funes Mori's hand. Okay, this game stays tied for now. Montoya, what a save. That was amazing. Rodriguez gives it to Parsons. Come on, we got to score this third while we have slightly the momentum. Frost almost won that ball. And Ahmed wins the ball back again. Ahmed is having a very good debut right back. I would say extremely good. Ahmed into Kamalo. Kamalo, dink up to Frost. Oh, man, I wanted to try and, uh, try and chest it down with him. Oh, no, Funes Mori. Gets by Ferreira, and that ball, oh, that gets through, and we can't do anything about that. They're just always so much more like just ready for that first touch to get by us. Okay, we don't score our third. Instead, they score first, and it's 3-2. Hey, come on. This is still a game. Parsons over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez gives it to Parsons. Parsons. Oh, man, I wanted to give it back to Rodriguez because he was going to be free. I see this space. We just can't get to it. Oh, no, boys. Ahmed comes over, but Christie recovers well there. And Rodriguez is making a run. Kamalo, I don't think he can make this pass. I don't think he could wait. Rodriguez, okay, he can make that pass. Kamalo, I apologize for doubting you. Rodriguez in to Parsons. I wanted that to go to Frost. Oh, wait, no, that was actually Paris. Wait, I don't even know who take that shot. I can't even see. Rodriguez steals it, though. Come on, boys. This is the definition of fighting back into Frost, but he's in a bad spot. Time's running out. This is a good chance, though. Frost gets over to Paris. Paris tries to get something on that, but can't. Okay, we need subs. Uh, Paris is rinsed, so let's do Harrison for Paris. Let's do Mensa for Kamalo, and then leave it at that for now. Can we find something? Little Leo Harrison on the field. He got fresh legs. Plays a great ball to Sean Frost. Gets by one, and then he tracks it wide again. That was probably his toughest chance. That defender was right on him, but oh man, he's still got to try at least test the keeper. All right, Josebed wins that back. This this game is not over yet. Harrison. Harrison gets it over to Sholomensa. 
Shola, Mensa, chance to tie it up, and then he misses his chance too. Oh man, we are getting chances. Ozebed, cross in, looks good. Frost header. Is it gonna be in the corner? Oh, it's gonna be a goal kick. All right, we got two minutes to try and find something, which they're looking to kill this game off, and they might, but Ozebed steals it back. Okay, get the ball forward, please. Three minutes added on. Ball to Frost. Frost is in a... Oh, Mensa, you're so offside. He just, he just keeps running. That is so infuriating. That's going to be it. Man, against a team this good, we actually played really good. Despite, again, the defensive just issues, we were in this game for the most part against a team of this quality, which is a positive to take, but that's going to be three straight losses that all were, like, so close. We fought back in every single game. It's just we're still a ways off from where we want to be, of course. Positive I take, though, is that we can fight back in the games. Man, so far, Frost, Rodriguez, and Paris, like, good-looking stats. It's just, can we play this brand of, like, attacking football while still being defensively good enough to not get relegated? Because right now, we're on relegation form. We gotta figure out something. And that something might involve this 11 million budget. Because we have a meeting. And that meeting is with Manchester United boss, Eric Ten Hag. That'll be in the next episode. So if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. I'd appreciate it. And as always, hope you have a great day.